Blog Talk Radio. Yeah, this is uh, the, the DJ Black Radio Show. This is your host, DJ Black. And the thing about it, today, I'm supposed to be doing our interview on uh, Miss Dizzle Beats. And uh, I have some of her tracks here that I'm going to play, and I'm waiting for her to call. And this is one of her songs called Bass Slap. Thank <laughs> you. 
CJ Black again from DJ Black Radio Show. That was one of uh, Miss Dizzle uh, beats and stuff like that. See, um, to be real creative and producing beats and everything, sometimes you got to uh, know how to play instruments too. You know, some people are self-taught, and then some people end up going to music classes and stuff. Just like me, when I was in school, I majored in music. And I played my first instrument when I was in seventh grade. And I was in concert band. Then I was in stage band. Then I was in uh, marching band. So when time, the hip-hop scene thing came. So a lot of electronic things came about uh, through programming drum machines, uh, playing keyboards and workstation stuff and stuff like that. And you had to know how to... um, be creative to make your own beats and sounds and stuff. So, you know, beat making is is an art, you know, all to itself. Now, um, since centuries, uh, um, the Africans and was doing beats and stuff, you know, the Africans just do their dance, beating on drums and congos and stuff like that. So music and beats and stuff always been around. Then when they created uh, the actual drums, you know, people hitting on the drums, bass, bass drums, snares, and hi-haps, and all this other stuff. But then when they created the drum machine, then people had to learn how to program the drum machine because now you don't have a live drummer. You got to uh, do it manually, or sometimes they have beat patterns that's inside there. So... So once you learn all of that, then you got to learn about what type of sound you want, what type of tone you want. And that's when you add other um, layers of music and strings and stuff over top of your beats so you can have a complete song. And that's what I see from Ms. Dizzle Beats, that the, when she created her, her music, she created uh, an actual song, you know what I'm saying, that somebody can lay their voice over, and um, and um, sometimes you also um, you have to be your own sound engineer and your own critics or your own beats and stuff because you want your beat real tight. You know what I'm saying? Because um, if you're selling your beat, you want it real tight. So when you're selling your beat to a, a MC or whoever who's gonna be rapping on your beat. You know, that he like it and it fit his format of his lyrics. And then when he hit his lyrics over the top of the beat, he bringing the story thing out even more or bringing the color of the tones out even more. Because then he's he's balancing himself along with the, with the hot beat. So if he have hot lyrics over the top of hot beats, he's going to sell. And Miss Dizzle Beats, Thing she doing is she putting out music that that the MCs are grab hold on to it, and you know what I'm saying, and they're giving her props because it's, cause, um it's a song out right now, you know, produced by you know she calls herself Jay Dizzle on there, but you know I'm just calling Miss uh, Dizzle Beats, but also you can hit her up on her Facebook. Miss Dizzle Beats, you know what I'm saying, or Jay Dizzle, you know, and look at her um, profile and everything. And um, and her music is worth um, buying and everything. So the thing about it, um, I'm getting ready to end my show and everything, and just Google Miss Dizzle Beats and stuff and hit her up on her Facebook and everything. And, um, and you know, buy her music, listen to her music, and if you are an MC out there, you know what I'm saying, or you just want to get her beat just to be sitting there, putting in your MP3, you know, just listening to her sounds and ride with it while you ride in your Chevy with 22s on it or something, you know, you be pumping it down the streets with a beat, and she representing California to the fullest. So I, you know, me a beat maker, I give her. Um, you know, like one to five, I give her a five star. And another thing, she's making a lot of uh, movements in the, the underground hip hop scene. 
and she's getting noticed and everything. And that's why I'm doing a music review, you know, on her music. You know, if she do not call today, Lisa already had told her that I will put her music, you know what I'm saying, on my format. So as people want to listen to it, they always can click on it. And um, tune into my DJ Black Radio show from out here at Gaffney, South Carolina. So I'm getting ready to hit her beat again before I get ready to uh, log out. And uh, this DJ Black, um, I'm doing interviews for everybody that's in the music scene and trying to make a, a name for themselves. And the beat I'm getting ready to hit, I'm getting ready to get off. This is the um, Ms. Dizzy B bass slap. <laughs> 